Welcome back. This is Jeff Frick here from theCUBE. We're out at Stanford Stadium for the San Jose Earthquakes versus the LA Galaxy, the California Classico. Absolutely. And I'm here with Rich uh, Fidesco, mm -hmm. Senior Director of uh, Business Intelligence. Yep. Rich, thanks for, uh, thanks for spending a few minutes with us. Thanks for having me, appreciate it. Awesome, so what Rich is working on, which we thought was pretty interesting, we know the audience is really interested in, is Bitcoin, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of talk about Bitcoin, there's a lot of speculation about Bitcoin, what's Bitcoin, people doing crazy back alley <laughs> stuff with Bitcoin. But here, what can you buy with Bitcoin from the earthquakes? You can buy any merchandise you want. Um, you have, you know, we, we partner with Coinbase, um, so anybody that has Bitcoin, they can just download the Coinbase wallet. Um, from there, they just go to our uh, merch stand here, pick out whatever they want, and um, it's a really simple, probably like one minute transaction, just really, really similar to uh, credit cards and whatnot. We have a tablet that we just punch in um, the amounts, and from there, all you're doing is scanning uh, your phone with the uh, encrypted um, Bitcoin amount, and with the push of a button, you send the Bitcoin to us, and we send a receipt, and there you go. You have your merchandise with Bitcoin. So, so talk a little bit about this initiative. I don't know that I've ever heard anyone taking Bitcoin yeah. at the stadium, and I'm a, I'm a huge sports fan. I go to a lot of games. So did this? where did this come from? Was it initiated from the fan base? Was it some innovation internally? What kind of made this happen? It was a combination. I mean, for us, I mean, Dave Cavill, our president, uh, you know, really interested. He understands, and as an organization, we understand we're in Silicon Valley. You know, this is the hub. This is the incubator for technology technology and um, Bitcoin is, is obviously an interesting piece to that and you know I know that in Palo Alto here there's coffee shops that take Bitcoin and whatnot and it just you know we talked to Coinbase who um, you know kind of brought it to our attention that it was a relatively easy transaction um, and we were we partnered with them and they've been a great partner with us to you know make it a seamless um, easy opportunity for our fans and you know we've done it at, we did it um, a, a month ago at our last uh, home game we had 15 to 20 transactions and we have a ton of people taking signs of uh, you know we accept Bitcoin and stuff so there's definitely you know a lot of interest and a lot of curiosity so um, it, it's been it's been great so far and we're you know, interested to see um, where it's going to go and with the new stadium you know the, the opportunities there. Yeah, it's one of the things why we like having the earthquakes is because you guys are so progressive, right? 15 to 20 transactions, not a big transactions, probably didn't cover the cost of putting the systems in, but it's innovation, it's excitement, it changes the flavor, people like it. Absolutely. I mean, I think that it, right now, yeah, you're seeing 15 to 20 transactions. We haven't really you know, uh, promoted it too much, but we think there's an opportunity for it to continue to grow, and um, it, it is an interesting thing, and another thing for our fans to, you know, try out and, you know, just get a taste of in, in real-world transactions. You know, people hear about Bitcoin, we're kind of educating our fan base a little bit, and they're educating us in, in regards to if they want to do it or not. Yeah. So talk a little bit about the transaction itself, because most of the the buzz, or a lot of the buzz about Bitcoin is about the way that the, the price moves and fluctuates, yeah. and is it a speculation? vehicle mm -hmm. and what's going on. How do you work with that? You know, I just want to buy a $20 hat or a $100 yeah. jersey. How does that work? Um, well, it's pretty simple. I mean, you buy the Bitcoin and, you know, right now they're trading for like $550 or something like that. Um, you can buy partial things, but you go on, you download the Coinbase app. You can buy Bitcoin via Coinbase. Um, and then from there, you, you know, during the time that you're buying it, you know, the day of purchase, um, there's a dollar a, a figure assigned to it. So on our end, all we're doing is is using the Coinbase uh, merchant app. We're just typing in the price of the actual merchandise, and it's then generating the actual price that, in Bitcoin. Um, and from there, the the fan is is scanning it, um, and then they accept that this is how much it costs, and this is the Bitcoin equivalent, um, and then it it transfers to us. And for us, um, it because of Coinbase, you know, they're actually the intermediary. As the earthquakes, we don't really want to you know, deal with the fluctuating market as much. So the, um, uh, Coinbase allows it to immediately at that point of transaction deposit into our bank account in the cash equivalent that we sold our merchandise in. So right, right. we can make sure the $20 hat is, you know, we're getting $20 and not, you know, waiting and 
you know, the next day and all of a sudden it's, you know, maybe dropped a little bit or, or you know, uh, it'd be nice if it went up. But if it goes down, we don't want to, you know, worry about the, the fluctuating market. Right, right. So, Rich, your title, Senior Director of Business Intelligence. So I want to shift gears a little bit away from Bitcoin yeah. and talk about some of the other business intelligence initiatives that you guys are doing to uh, to help the fan experience, to help run the, uh, the organization from the team perspective or from the business perspective. What are some yeah. of the initiatives and things you guys are working on? Well, I mean, for us, I mean, we're obviously big data, you know, really looking at all the analytics um, across the board. Um, we've, uh, over the last year, we've implemented, implemented a new CRM system, Microsoft Dynamics, and um, used other software, you know, our ticketing system, tickets.com, um, along with, you know, pulling in different uh, marketing initiatives that all, you know, we want everything to talk to each other so we can get a, a full picture of the fan, what they're doing, um, and then as an organization, understanding, it, you know, the full picture for cost and um, profits, you know, everything going into one. On the fan side um, we're for next year at the new stadium we're going to be launching a new stadium app which we hope will be a great leap forward for our fans we're really pushing mobile ticketing um, so that you know the hub of that will be allowing our season ticket holders and our people who buy on the web and it, to start out with allow them to you know literally have their mobile phone and that's all they need they can you know using we're partnering with parking panda so people can buy their um, parking reserve their parking um, using their phone and then actually have it right there so an attendant can scan it then they can walk into the stadium or go to the you know as they're walking in their ticket will pop up they'll have the ability to scan their ticket and then inside um, we'll have more uh, the mer we'll, we'll have some push notifications or some uh, geo um, geofencing type things to uh, again help fans understand where things are and um, potentially do some other things as well geofencing I have a geofen <laughs> geofencing there's a new one so I just want we'll kind of follow up on that talk about the innovation of the company what is it about the earthquakes and how do you foster uh, an environment where you can really drive this kind of innovation. What's kind of the secret? What's the process? Why do you guys continue to try to stay out on that cutting edge? You know, it's a top down. You know, uh, you know, Dave came in, uh, our president, and he, he he laid it out there. He says that, you know, he, he told us, you know, we're going, we're in Silicon Valley. You know, there's a lot of other great ballparks out there. I mean, the Giants, uh, AT&T Park, obviously Levi's is, is, is going to open up, uh, you know, in August. We're, we're actually going to be the first event there. We hope to be there with the, you. We, yeah, that'd be great. Um, but, you know, like, it was, it's important for us, you know, to connect to the community. And the community here in Silicon Valley is, you know, innovation, technology uh, centric. And so, you know, that was the initiative put out there. And we are trying to follow through and listen to the fans, you know, at our, our current stadium, which isn't a great, isn't great, but we're even doing, you know, we have mobile, you know, allow people to buy food and merchandise on their on their phone and get it delivered to them at, at games. Um, so that was, you know, we, we really understood that we, that our fans are, are tech savvy and they want this. And for for us to be, you know, good business people and to, you know, make sure our fans keep coming back, we have to feed that and, and keep pushing the envelope, and, and that's it's, it's critical for us as an organization. And is, and is he charging you with like assigning 10% of your time to do something new? Are you, you know, carousing the league? I mean, you know, talk about kind of down in the weeds. How yeah. do you keep coming up with yeah. with new things? Is is it? Huge, huge steps forward. Are you just continual innovation? A, a lot of it, honestly. Um, Dave um, has amazing connections. He was here, you know, he's a Stanford grad. We're in Silicon Valley. There's so many startups, and Dave is on so many different boards. He's constantly getting all these different startups and, and you know, organizations that really want to push technology, you know, coming to him. And then what ends up happening is he'll then kind of direct them to me, and I sit down with you know, 10, you know, I'm on the phone or in person meetings with, you know, like 10 or 15 of these probably a week and, you know, trying to understand realistically, is there an opportunity? How far along are they? You know, we love being beta clients for different opportunities because, you know, it's, it's an opportunity to learn from you know, from people that really want to you know, do it and push forward. And also, you know, it's a good, it's costly for us. It doesn't cost us very much, you know, to be and you know, to help them. So, for us, you know, we, you know, we're really constantly talking to these startups and in understanding what people are pushing. You know, like they're telling us what um, our fan, or what um, the crowd and what people want innovation-wise. And so from there, I'm kind of sifting through and seeing realistically what, what might, might make sense for the organization, what might not. And, um, you know, from that, we've we've gotten these different opportunities, the the order, which is the, the seat, um, you know, uh, ordering at your seat and whatnot, uh, different things in our app that we'll be doing. You know, I mentioned geofencing. Um, there's, there's other, you know, uh, things out there as well. I mean, we're going to be working with Nomi, which is another, you know, c company that does uh, mobile and, um, things as well. So like it, it really is, I mean, a lot of connections, a lot of people just 
telling us, that, hey, here's different options for you, and us sitting down and seeing if they make sense and, and trying to work with them because a lot of them have good ideas and some of them are going places and for those that are, we want to be a part of it. Yeah, that's great. And and I'm sure some percentage of those things, you know, wash out or it doesn't work out, Absolutely. but really a great, uh, you know, kind of culture of innovation to listen, take the call, hear what people have to say and yeah. give it a try. Absolutely. Now, we love interacting and, and talking and learning. Um, so it's been it's been great, it, it, you know, and we, we anybody else out there that has these great ideas, we're, we're always looking for them. Awesome, awesome. So Rich Fredesco, thanks for uh, stopping by at theCUBE, telling us a little bit about Bitcoin. Greg's behind the camera, he's gonna buy a hat. I know he's got some Bitcoin <laughs> burning a hole in his pocket. Senior Director of Business Intelligence, good luck tonight. Appreciate and, it. And uh, we look forward to hoping to see you at Levi's and then at the new stadium, awesome. uh, I guess in March, right? Absolutely. All right, great, thanks, thanks a lot. Much. All right, take care.